So guys, welcome back to more Remnant from the Ashes. Kind of started off as a, a one and done type series. Did a couple videos after that. I'm kind of in the rhythm of it now. Uh, having a lot of fun playing this game. I still don't know much about it. But like the lore behind it is still kind of new to me. I've been kind of reading up on it, watching other people play it as well. Just kind of getting tips and stuff. There's a lot to the game I don't really understand yet. But kind of getting there. Uh, you guys seem to be enjoying the videos. So thank you so much for all the likes you've been dropping on these parts. And if you want more of this game, just keep it up. All right, guys, I love you. Let's get this. This is really cool, man. This area reminds that little thing spinning reminds me of that area in Destiny 2 in the Dreaming City. Trade unlock, Keeper's Blessing. Hold on. Elemental resistance. Man, we're getting so many of these things. I can now see why people leveled up fast. I feel like if you're good enough, you don't need to worry about your health. Stamina, I can no longer ignore. Uh, but there, there are items that will help that. Man, 7% elemental resistance. I want to build resistance. But I feel like teamwork would be the last thing I'd want to dump anything to. I would probably change this. I want to get that to 20%, keep it there. I need to go endurance just a little bit, but giving my health up a little bit as well. Uh, go a little bit of stamina. Oh wait, I, I can't level up yet. <laughs> a thing popped up and it, I thought I could, but then it, I realized that uh, it was just showing me that I got a new thing I can use. Elemental resistance. Uh, let me see what it says to do, hold on. I don't, do I need to go back? Maybe I could go talk to mother, but let me see what happens if you do this. So he said there's this infinite possibilities in here. So this is like, I guess just all the different things you can do. I'm gonna go back and see if I can talk to her really quick. Cause wasn't that like the whole point of coming here was to have a conversation with him. And maybe we get left and right there. I guess these are what are like a I guess like a layer or a dungeon like they would be in uh, like Diablo. Hold on, let me go back. Maybe she'll enlighten me a little bit. That's why I can't move north of the day. Look at that radiation reduces your stamina by fifty percent. Radiation is a big thing in this game. Let me just talk to her one more time. I still gotta search for Commander Ford, but I thought maybe that might trigger. Well met, traveler. You have seen the skein of worlds. You have walked the labyrinth. And you pursue the road. Yes. Walk the world's wanderer. The founder lies beyond. He waits. But he does not know he waits. I have lost my tread carefully, child. All right, cool. So that wasn't a complete waste to go talk to her. I was worried it might be for a minute. All right, we're good. Well, let's go back. We got like an infinite world now. Looks like we're not infinite, but you know, we got we have options. All right, uh, labyrinth. Return to last checkpoint. Same thing. <laughs> I love that. Corrosion reduces armor effectiveness. I'm gonna tell you, man, having little tool tips. Let me see if I can go forward. I feel like I'm gonna have to go left and right before I can go forward. But no, that's not right, okay. Uh. Uh, what? So what is this stuff on the left and right? Let, let me go to the orange one first. I'm gonna guess it's orange. I don't know. I'm, certain colors are kind of weird to me. I wouldn't say I'm colorblind, but I just certain ones I struggle. We'll go there first and then... 
I don't know if it's a side mission or what. I kind of want to check it out, though. And if it helps me level up, then why not? This game is very unique. This little section right here is really cool, though. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, it just teleports you. I thought we were getting... Gonna go to, like, different sections. Okay. Uh... <laughs> War 13 key card. Yeah, that's it. Alright. Oh, that's pointless. Wait, can I go across right here? No, it doesn't autofill. Alright. Um, alright. Well, all that orange one does is teleport us up here. Now we can go back. Now I can try the other one. Looks purple. I don't know. Ooh, almost uh, bit the dust there for a minute. Definitely a cool game. I really don't know much about it, like, like the lore-wise, I guess. But I can tell you this right now, like, it definitely has my interest. I felt like every year there's a game that kind of comes out. People try it, and maybe, you know, it came out of nowhere. I thought Sekiro was a really good example. Everybody and their mom was playing that game. Uh, I still want to finish that game one day. But, you know, the crazy thing is, with something like this, it obviously doesn't have a big following, because uh, it's brand new. All right, this is the same thing. Okay. So that's all those are. So maybe we have to continue onward. Now that we know what both of these kind of hold for us. Uh, we'll go back down. I'm just going to go to the main section. There's nowhere else to go. I had to eliminate all the different options, though. Yes, yeah, stamina I can see being a big factor down the road... Uh, I might try to move it up just ever so slightly. Health is still, I think, the most important thing out of all that. But imagine having, like, 50% XP bonus. Well, you all of a sudden are gaining, uh, like crazy. So, you just have to be in, like, farming mode, basically. I did not expect... You? You are not he. Yet you have opened the gates. A second Nui? It must be. Forgive my confusion, unheralded one. Your sublime feet honor the sands of the eastern wind, itinerant one. Whatever your purpose, we are blessed by your presence. Surely there are none like you, inimitable one. At least I have never seen your like. I know none of that name or description. There is one who might know, but uh, he is not one to give information willingly. Except perhaps to another Nui. Uh, alright. If I have to, I'll make him tell me who do you think stands before you tell me this. <laughs> Yes, yes. Perhaps you are the one after all. You seek Aslan, the Undying King. But I warn you, challenging him will not be easy. Take caution. All right, seek the Undying King. Oh dear. All right, where can I found, uh, find Aslan? I'm guessing that's how you said. Seem eager for me to meet. Okay. Like all Akari, I am only eager to see the Guardian restored and the planet reborn. Oh, discerning one, it is my joy then, my great 
honor to help you find the Nui who was alive when said guardian fell. He rules from the citadel, in the canyons beyond the Black Sun Gate. The gate has been sealed since time forgotten. Oh, but no doubt you will find a way, Dynamic One. None. Only one has there ever been since the days of the Guardian. Your arrival is... unprecedented. Go well, Enlightened One. All right, nice. This might be a good stopping point for now. Got to a brand new area. Checkpoint wise, okay, so here's what I was reading. This is actually from, I think it was like on Reddit, on the Reddit for this game, I think one of the actual developers was talking about how in each section, uh, I don't know if I should, I mean, do I need to, I don't even need to go actually go back or anything, I was just gonna stop right here. We got to a brand new area, but all I was gonna say was each new section has new armor and stuff you can get. Let me go forward a little bit. I'm just kind of curious what, like, the area looks like. I'm very intrigued right now. Oh, boy. World Walker, okay. What is that one? Stamina cost. Oh, wow. Hold on, what would be better, though? That's your overall stamina. This is what everything would cost. I wonder if you can max all these out. Obviously, you'd have to pick a... Pick a path. <laughs> I'm just curious what the enemies look like. They're gonna pop up out of the sand, probably. If I had to guess. Or I get a trait point. That's all I wanted. I might run back and uh, save my game now. Okay, they look like the big brutes almost, but... So, while normally you'd want to go for a headshot... Hold on, I see something purple. Normally you want to go for a headshot. Can I climb this? I, the only thing about this game sometimes is I feel like I feel like climb a little bit. Like right here, I feel like I could just go up there. But it wants you to go like around... Yeah, don't only want to get a headshot. These guys obviously got the armor on the head, so. Is that a dog? Oh, I hate they put that noise in the game. It's like ruined it for me. I don't hear that. Oh, God! Oh god! It's like a Cyclops! Oh, that's sick! Oh, look at that. That same thing happened to me again. They detonate after a while. All right, let me see if I can get that purple thing. It's all connected right here. Let me grab this. I saw this in the background as well. I know, it's like funny. I said I was going to stop a second ago. Now I'm like, I've already been like absorbed into this. Maybe this is how you get it. Here we go. Nice. What do we got here? Leech Ember. Okay. Uh, should be, oh, it's a material. Hold on. Oh, no, it's not. What is it? Wait, what? Oh, it's this thing. All right, melee hits. Leech damage dealt to the target returns. Oh, my goodness. That is, like, incentive to use that brawler kind of setup. That's insane. That's, like, very, very well thought out. How do you get people to want to melee in this game? Well... Give them some perks that are amazing. I 
mean, I guess I'll just get to the next little... There's all these, like, little checkpoints everywhere. There's gotta be one, like, close by here after you get past the big open area. I just wonder what happens. So, I wonder if the vendors... What if the vendors, like, update back the ward uh, as you progress with the game or not? I don't know how it actually works. God. Oh, God. Chunk point, let's get one. Shots. Oh, that was rough. That was actually kind of intense for a minute. I was actually fearing. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. Uh, I don't think I got hit once though, which is unusual for games like this and me. All right, we're not done yet. No stealth involved. That sorcery gun. All right, those aren't even. This is like one long area. It's like Mad Max Fury Road or something. The whole movie, they go one direction. Halfway through, you're like, where are they gonna go now? Oh, they're just gonna go all the way back. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Really good movie, though. Saw that shit in theaters, man. That was, uh... The soundtrack, everything about that movie is just crazy, man. I love the... You know, it, it's just kind of like you just sit back and watch. You know? That mindless fun. You know, I also right now, like, I spend a lot of time watching other people play games, which is kind of insane, I guess, if you think about it. It's like, that's what I'm doing right now, is I'm playing. But there's a lot of, like, streamers that I watch that will speedrun games like this. I think it's kind of all sort of, like, secure on you know? I watched some guy beat the game and, like, it was like an 80% percentage run. Oh, God. Does it still work? I'm still in it. Ah, oh, come on. Now, I saw people beat that game in like like under 30 minutes. It was crazy. That's a big guy. Where they at? Where they at? Oh! Nice! Okay, those crystals drop from the big enemies, so I guess if you ever want to farm them, That is an option, I guess. Hold on, let me see something. There's not really boxes in this area, but there's these things. Okay, I guess it's the same thing. Hold up these. Yeah, pretty much break anything. Scrap 20, nice. Enemies are big here, so I'm like 
freaking out thinking, oh god, like, that's one of those big enemies, but it's not. It's just like a regular one. <laughs> Let me top off. Man, there's so many. And I'm low on bullets. That was rough. Could have went up there. I just realized that. Next checkpoint, I'm definitely going to stop uh, just for a little bit. So if you guys are enjoying this game, just keep destroying the like button on the videos. I've uh, kind of just been going day to day with it. I don't like spamming stuff when I'm not really certain if I'm going to go all the way with it. This game, I don't know yet. I would like to just keep playing it. If I happen to beat it, I'll beat it. I know I just finished like Wolfenstein just recently. Uh, but a few games like Sinking City and a few others, I would like to, you know just kind of get back to other things as well but this game has been very intriguing uh, I've really enjoyed playing it and I don't know I just want to see what happens the boss battles are what have been like a big thing for me okay, we've already been through here <laughs> went to the same area twice that's funny I need some ammo Is there like a check? There's gotta be a checkpoint somewhere. There's something right here. Hold on. Hmm. Key card would not work, Brad. I don't know why. <laughs> why? Why I did that? Oh, scared the shit out of me. Oh, you can pet the dog. Nice. Dog needs to go to the vet. That made my day, man. That right there is awesome. Oh, welcome. I assume you seek the sustenance. Curatives, you've come to the right place. Hmm. You have a no smell about you. <laughs> Some think the blind are simple. They are wrong. <laughs> Wherever you're from, you are Welcome here. My prices are the same for all. You may also be interested in information. Buri, Akari, even the great king himself. None keeps secrets from one. So, how can I help you? Uh, business it is. I have many goods to barter. Or perhaps you are after my secrets. All I have is yours to consider. All right, nice. He's got consumables. He's got trinkets. So hold on. Range damage three seconds after getting a range kill stacks up to five time. Oh my god. Wow. Both of these are good. I feel like this is really good because it suits me way more than that other thing. Moves. Okay, I need to buy some of these. I feel like everything else is good. Sell items, I'm good. I'm not gonna sell anything. Ah, until next time, friend. Uh, all right, hold on. Here's the thing about this. So I was, I had this one on. I'm not really a brawler, so I took it off. Uh, increase range damage by 3% for 5 seconds after a ranged kill. Thing is, ranged is... Because when I pick up ranged ammo... Hold on. It's called the long gun. So, I guess that's what it is, technically. Surprisingly, I got a few... Yeah, I got those other things still. Not really worth it. Uh, I think if I use this and kill a few small enemies... 15% stack. I wonder, so you get 3% for 5 seconds. And then you get 3% again, 3% again. All the way until you get 15. And then you have 5 seconds. If you mix that with this uh, quick hands, let's say you have it fully maxed out with a shotgun. Point blank range. You're looking at 2 tap really quick. And all of a sudden 2 tap again. 
Uh, and if you might can get four or five shots off before, depending on how much you have dumped into that. Anyways, I'm gonna stop here at this checkpoint. This game is so good, man. I, I'm loving it. It's been a really fun experience up to this point, and I'm very intrigued by it. I need to also adjust my quick menu down there, because this area is a little different. It doesn't have the same effects. Uh, I think we're good. Yeah, so here we go. Now, uh, it's kind of shortened up. It was just core and earth. Now we got this area. So apparently, I think there's like four or five areas in the game. So that would probably give you a good idea of how far we are into the game. Maybe 20%, if I had to guess. Or maybe core counts as well. Maybe there's two other areas. I don't know. Anyways, I love you guys. Best audience on YouTube. If you want more of this game, just keep destroying that like button. I'm really enjoying it a lot. I know my character looks weird with this mask on, but hey, maybe I get some cool armor in the future. All right, guys, take it easy.